Uh, so at this point, we've had phone calls with the customer. Um, the engineers have suggested to do X, Y, and Z. It's still not working. We need a technician to go on site. So at this point, we're gonna create the work order. I can click on this button here that says convert to work order. Uh, we'll give the system a minute here to create our work order record. Uh, bear with me one moment. I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna proceed to my next stage. Uh oh, sorry about that. It doesn't seem to want to work with me. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open up my work order record. Bear with me here. Apologies. Let's see here, John Bean Company. So here is my work order record. Uh, we have my, my service account still listed, the functional location of that account. So again, my service account um, is also my billing account in this case, but if our, whoever's being billed, it has a separate location. We have that tracked here. Um, we have the work order type that's tracked here. So work order type refers to, um, you know, what are we doing here? I added another work order type of rhombus installation. I do know that typically rhombus doesn't do the actual installation and that the customer is usually supposed to do it. But let's just say even with the customer doing it, um, there are some issues that come up you might have to have some, at least a third party technician come and help. So um, that's a, just another work order type that I added here um, just as a possibility. Uh, we also have a price list here where we're tracking the cost. So this is uh, Rhombus Energy cost. Since I know you guys said that uh, you don't invoice the customer directly here, but you wanna keep track of the cost, we can definitely still do that here. Um, as I click on the settings here, just some things that we need to work out. You know, what's the work location? This is on site in this instance. Um, these preferences here are pretty important to fill out. So this is the time from and time to promise. This is where you're telling your um, specific customer, hey, we're going to be at the, uh, we're going to be on site, you know, it's on the 9th today at 8 a.m. And we'll be there, uh, you know, also on the 9th. And we're going to say it's going to last two hours. So it should be till 10 a.m. Actually, since this is in the past, I'm just going to change this to the afternoon. So we're going to do a 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So uh, the date window start, you can you can change that or keep that as the 9th here. And again, there's a time window start. So let's say the window start, we say can start before 12 p.m. Let's say they get there a little early. We will give them a half hour window. So we'll say the half hour window, though they could be there at 1130 um, and they could end at uh, 230 p.m. And I can go ahead and save this. All right, so we're gonna move on to the products here. So products here, um, this shows the specific tools that might be used for this particular issue. Um, if I click on the summary here, something that I wanna know is this primary incident type that I set up. So with a primary incident type, this is just rhombus warranty issue, you have the ability to set up common issues that you, use, that you might see um, you know, happening with particular products. And when you do that, you can set up kind of a template um, that says, okay, you know, this is a rhombus warranty issue. Uh, we usually use, and I'm gonna open this up, we usually use um, these products when we are um, trying to figure out what's going on with this rhombus warranty issue. We usually uh, use these services here, my warranty service, which is usually takes around two. Um, and these service tasks, these are the usual tasks. Uh, these are the step-by-step -step tasks that a technician might do um, for this particular incident type. Uh, same with characteristics. These are the type of characteristics that we want our resources to have um, before we book them, you know, onto our work order, onto our on-site work order there. So if I go back to my work order here, you'll see those same 
um, product services, service tasks, all came across on across onto my work order record. So that's all stuff that you would fill out in the beginning and just um, so that the customer service rep doesn't have to keep, you know, manually adding products, services, and service tasks. Um, that template kind of allows us to automatically list it. So what we're seeing here, this is all based off of the um, rhombus energy cost list. So this is all just whatever the uh, cost was for these tools or using these or using these tools here. Um, as the technician makes the changes, um, what they'll do is they'll change the line status from estimated to used if they are actually using um, particular products there. And the same thing goes for the services. Um, the services, as you can tell, are a little bit different in the way that they're measured. So products were measured in pieces, services is measured in, measured in hours or time. Um, so again, the same way of uh, kind of showing that this work order service was complete, a, test, a technician, excuse me, would go into the system and they would open up this service, say, hey, this line status is now used rather than estimated. Here is the duration that uh, it took. It took two hours. We're going to bill for two hours as well for our $100 unit amount. Um, um, so this whole thing costs $200. Now, duration to bill is a little um, not super useful in the way that you guys do things just because you're not actually billing it to them. But um, this will give you a good way to track your costs and your expenses here. I'm going to go ahead and close.